org. And if you are 50 or older and you like to learn, maybe you like to exercise or travel, then Oshner Lifelong Learning Institute is for you, also known as OLLI. And the University of Southern Mississippi houses the only institute in Mississippi. And joining us today to tell us more is Miss Paula Mathis. She is the director. And Mr. Dallas, he writes for Today in Mississippi, and I think he may be a member. Welcome, y'all. Polly, give us a little background on the Ollie program there at the at Southern Miss. I'm happy to do that. Um, Ollie at Southern Miss is a, a community of lifelong learners. Our mission at Ollie is to offer enriching and fulfilling learning opportunities to adults age 50 and older and to provide opportunities for members to develop friendships through social interaction. So this sounds like something that's super exciting. Now, there's no test. You don't actually have grades. It's not like a teacher sort of setup. It's, you know, going back to school. But it's more of like an enrichment program with people who have at least, you know, reached the fifth decade of life or more, right? Sure. We um, learn for the sheer joy of learning. We travel together. We um, socialize together. We learn together. Um, it, it, Ollie can be a part of every facet of um, members' lives. Now, Mr. Dallas, I read your article about Ollie in Today in Mississippi. That's where I found that we had this wonderful program uh, in our state for those that are 50 and older. And it started out with, have you ever gone birding on a pontoon boat? And I thought, well, you had me there. So did you get to, exp <laughs> did you get to experience birding on a pontoon boat? I did. I did. Uh -huh. Excuse me. I had a good time. There were several of us. We uh, went down and got on a pontoon uh, near Pascagoula, went up the river and back around. Uh, we had our guide who did a very good job of pointing out. Of course, he, he knew what he was looking for and he'd say, there it is, and point it out, and we would all strain our eyes. But uh, it was a fun time. How important is it, Paula, to the individuals who choose to become members of Ollie there? I know it, I think it's in Hattiesburg as well as the Mississippi Gulf Coast to get these opportunities to just keep experiencing new experiences. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's um, a big part of aging well, um, and members can attest to that. Dallas can too. As you may have noticed in the article that he wrote um, in his bio, he mentioned that um, Ali um, has provided him an opportunity to improve himself, something along those lines. I didn't get it quite right. But, um, and members, um, as I was mentioned in the article too, um, they can sometimes reinvent themselves. So they've had these long, um, perhaps distinguished careers in their own fields as accountants or um, physicists or biologists, um, though you don't have to have a, a, a college degree to be a part of OLLI. Um, and, but they come in and discover that, wow, um, I have other skills and talents too. And suddenly they develop a passion, discover a passion for art. And so they'll take a watercolor course with um, Marty Broadus Turnbow or Henry Stiller down on the coast was leading a class this summer on pastels. Um, so it's interesting to see members um, investigate possibilities and explore other opportunities outside of their comfort zones while at Ollie. Mr. Dallas, what drew you to Ollie in the first place? Were you just looking for, you know, expanding your horizons in terms of enrichment experiences, or maybe was it the connection with, you know, other people who are in the same sort of phase of life? Yes, uh, well, I, I came into Ollie because my brother was living, living with me at the time, and he found it in the newspaper and wanted to try it. I was driving him over here, and, and well, I might as well take a class. I took a couple of history classes and went home, and that was good. But then I noticed somebody was teaching a writing class, and that was writing was something I wanted to do when I was young. And, you know, how life kind of gets in the way on things like that. But I joined the writing class, and 
I, I've never been much of a joiner, but joined the writing class and then joined the poetry class and, and joined the photography class uh, and joined those communities and it just have really had a chance to develop some friendships. We have what's called special interest groups, and, and it is those writing classes, it's uh, book clubs, it's, it's bridge, uh, uh, playing the ukulele of all things, <laughs> all kinds of things. And it's just a good chance to make friendships and, and have a community. Well, I just love this. If you're just tuning in to Good Things, there at the University of Southern Miss, they have a class or I guess a membership program. It's called Ollie, but it's Osher Lifelong Learning Institute. And it's the only one in Mississippi. I think there's 124 of them, right, Paula? But you guys there at USM have the only one here in the state. So how did that connection happen? Um, through a generous donation from Mr. Bernard Osher, who deserves all sorts of credit. And recently, we've bumped up to 125 Ollie's nationwide within the last two weeks, in fact, Rebecca. Um, so Drake University is the newest addition to the Ollie family. Um, Mr. Osher endowed Southern Miss with a, 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 well, we received, we were the recipients of a million-dollar endowment. Now, that doesn't mean that our... Um, operating budget is a million dollars. We operate on um, a percentage of that um, account at the university. And um, so we are rely on membership, annual membership. Um, currently, it's $30 for members because we're celebrating 30 years of um, lifelong learning at the University of Southern Mississippi, at OLLI specifically. And um, we also rely on class fees. Um, so members come in, they pay for a one hour, one time uh, class. It's $5 and then we call that a mini seminar. Two hours is what we call a seminar, that's $10. And then a five week course is $25. So um, if you're taking something and you wanna have a deeper dive into it, um, a particular topic, then you would pay $25 for a five-week course. That would meet two hours for five consecutive weeks. Well, I just think this is so cool. And oftentimes we talk about programs or enrichment activities for our youngsters that we can get in sort of that, you know, age of life where we are raising our kids and going to work, putting one foot in front of the other. And then I just think it's just a good thing that there is something for once we do get to that part where maybe we're empty nesters, we have retired, we have a little more free time, you can still broaden your horizons, learn new things, meet new people, get new experiences. And if you don't know where to start, it sounds like Ollie can at least point you in the right direction of, of cool things around town. So where do we go if we're interested, Paula? How do we get more information? Uh, for more information on the Hattiesburg campus, call 601-264-2780. On the coast, uh, area code 228-214-3277. Uh, if you would like to email us, Ollie, O-L-L-I, at usm.edu. That's our email address and request information that way. You can find us online. Um, our website is usm.edu backslash lifelong-learning. Um, so uh, any way you choose to reach out, someone will be available to assist you. Mr. Dallas, what are you getting into this year? What are you learning new? I'm sorry, did not hear. I know your what classes. Yeah, what classes? You are you, yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's been interesting. Uh, when I was in school many decades ago, uh, I didn't care about history. I am thoroughly enjoying history now. Uh, history, and, and uh, I can't carry, I can't sing, I can't carry a song in a bucket, as they say. But we offer several music classes where you can uh, see performances, see the, the, some of the USM bands will come and play. Mm -hmm. We can watch those and listen to a, their instructor explain about some of the bits and parts of it. I enjoy that a lot. Uh, I already mentioned photography and writing. Um, but I, I want to I want to mention one that he hasn't yet mentioned, which is the Singer Readers Theater um, group. 
Um, Sherry Maringo um, leads that, and um, Dallas has been instrumental in helping that Ollie group stay together, um, and particularly during the uh, pandemic days. Well, Miss Paula, it sounds like there's a lot to learn over at Ollie. We encourage everybody 50 or older to go find you on the website, sign up, get some enrichment classes, and learn something new. I think it's a good thing. But you guys stick with us.